Are you ready to start scoring six like this? Well, you're in the right place. Get ready to learn how to run the split zone in Madden 15. So we're going to take a look at the inside split zone out of both the Carolina and Green Bay playbook. And you'll notice here we're running this first against a 4-3 defense. And the play is designed to go A-gap play side back. So you're supposed to be able to cut this back. But you'll notice that you can't do that against a 4-3 because the linebacker on the left doesn't get accounted for. Though we can take this to the outside. Which is a little bit weird because the play isn't really designed to go out there. But in Madden, anything goes. So right here we're going to see they take the linebackers and move them to the outside and this makes the split zone extremely effective. So in this instance we're able to take the ball, cut it back, get behind our blocker that's coming from across the set from the wing position. We're able to get behind him and get upfield. And this is how the play is really designed and how it's supposed to be run in regular football. But again, in Madden, you know, we do what we need to to be successful. We're going to take a look at this play one more time against this same type of front with our linebackers spread wide. And we're going to notice that it works absolutely perfect. We're able to get all of our blocks, everything sealed up. We bust through the second level and we're one-on-one -on -one with the safety. The next type of 4-3 variation that we're going to take a look at is when we take the linebackers and shift them to the right. And you'll notice this also works very well also. So anytime the defense is in a 4-3 and they have their linebackers shifted out wide, make sure that you're cutting back. Also, if they have their linebackers shifted to the right, make sure you're cutting back. If they have their linebackers regular, we're busting it outside to the right. Right here, we're taking a look at a 4-4 defense that is not base aligned. And we'll notice that this doesn't work very well. The cutback isn't really there due to the alignments of the defensive end on the left and the D-tackle on the left. The offensive line also doesn't account for the linebacker that plays the inside left position, but you notice that we can bust it to the outside just like we can against the 4-3, and we'll see this again. Basically, we're just running away from the unblocked defender. We we're able to get the outside. The outside linebacker doesn't really keep contain on this play for whatever reason, and we're able to get the edge. Next, we're going to take a look at this play against a 3-4 defense, and this play is actually designed to really kill a 3-4 defense, but in Madden, it doesn't seem to work out. Now, in the real NFL, in football, this is how it should be blocked. Our tackle on the left, number 69, should get the end. Guard should go up for the linebacker. Our center is on the nose. Our right guard, number 70, should go up for the linebacker. And our tackle on the right should get the end. Our wing back is then going to pull across, and he's going to seal the edge, creating a cutback lane. You can see the cutback lane right there indicated by the green lines. That should be where our cutback lane is, and this should get blocked perfectly. But... Our tackle on the right side, which you'll see right now, he actually decides to block the outside linebacker. And what it does is it forces every other blocker to move one blocker over. So now the linebacker that's on the back side is sitting in the cutback lane and he is not accounted for. And this happens basically with every 3-4 defense. So if you were to run this play against 3-4, it's not going to work. Right here we can see against a 3-4 even, it still doesn't work. The only time that it does work against a 3-4 is when you run a 3-4 even with the line spread. You notice we can't even run it up the middle right here. Now you might be thinking maybe we can hit the outside, but notice how the outside linebacker plays in a 3-4. He actually uses his inside hand, which is proper technique, and he keeps outside leverage. And you can see the technique that this outside linebacker plays demonstrated in the slow motion video. Right here you'll notice against a 3-4 even with the line spread, we are able to get this to work properly. And that's the only time that we're going to be able to get this to work properly is against a 3-4 even with the line spread, which is a popular defense, so that's good to know. The next defensive formation that we're going to take a look at is the 3-3-5 wide. And this is a new formation in Madden 15. This wasn't in previous years. And in the 3-3-5 wide, we'll see that it blocks up perfectly. Everyone gets blocked. Everyone's accounted for. We have the cutback lean. We can run it inside. We can run it outside. We can do whatever we want to do in this formation. Now, you'll see that the defense will sometimes spread their guys out on the outside and bring their safeties down. This is very common, particularly in tournament play, and you'll notice it doesn't make a difference. All right, So the defense is definitely susceptible to the inside split zone if they're running the 3-3-5 wide. Same thing with regular nickel. Any type of nickel where you have four down linemen, two linebackers in the middle, this play is going to absolutely demolish it. So this is something that is absolutely perfect against nickel sets. 3-3-5 wide has options against both the 4-4 
and the 4-3. The only weaknesses that it really has so far is the 3-4. But that's something that you're just going to have to account for while you're playing and make adjustments on the fly. The next formation we're going to take a look at is the 4-6. And this is the 4-6 that is not base aligned. All right, so we're going to run this against the 4-6 that isn't base aligned. And you'll notice that the play sets up beautifully. Everyone is blocked, everyone is accounted for, the cutback lane is there, we are good to go. You will notice here in these next couple examples, sometimes the offensive tackle and the wing back wind up switching off. They wind up switching who they're blocking. It doesn't seem to be a huge issue, but there are times where one of them does miss a block because of this. So against 4-6, I would be a little bit leery of making this your go-to run, but it is something that you can run. When the defense is base in line, the play just doesn't work. If the defense chooses to show blitz, the cutback lane is not there but you can take the ball up the middle for a nice little game. The next defensive set we're going to take a look at is the 3-3-5 and the backside linebacker once again is not accounted for and this causes the same problem that it does in the 3-4 but if we run all the way to the right side we're able to gain some yards. You will see here that with that backside linebacker, and this is not only true for 3-3-5, but it's true for other sets, you can spin that guy almost every single time, and it's basically a glitch in the game. This is something you can do in other sets. You could actually do this against the 3-4. It is a little bit risky because you are spending a little bit more time in the backfield, so if there's penetration or if someone's blitzing and they shoot a gap, you could get popped for a loss, but oftentimes it's a big gain, and it's also very hard for a user defender to come down and play that. Because most often times it's hard to react to that because it's so quick. You'll see even when I blitz that linebacker, the spin causes an issue and a problem. And this is something that you absolutely should implement into your game. Now a lot of people might be thinking that this is a lot to go over with you know just one run, but this is something that I do with every single run in the game. I run it against every single set, I understand its weaknesses, I understand its strengths, and what I do is I go through and analyze it, I know what I can run it against, and I set my offense up around it. Then, once I understand each run, I use other runs in that same formation that complement the weaknesses of the run that I'm using to highlight. And this is the run that I'm choosing to highlight right now. So that's it, that's the inside split zone. Now is this every defense in the game? Absolutely not, but you're gonna have to be able to make adjustments on the fly. People are gonna be moving their players all around the defense, they're gonna be setting up defenses that you may not have seen before, but you're gonna to have to understand the run and understand how it works to better attack any defense that an opponent has set up for you. Going through other runs in the formation is also going to help you because it will allow you to put runs in your audibles that have strengths where this run has weaknesses. So that's it, it's Big J Glee signing off. I hope that you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you clicked that subscribe button. I'm gonna be putting out more Madden videos in the future. And if you have any questions about this run or any run in particular or how to run the ball, just leave them in the comment section down below. Also, check out my channel homepage. I have all of my videos organized by playlist for your viewing convenience. Just go ahead and click playlist and access any type of video that you wanna access. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Again, thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.